Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Well, here it is, Mr. Truck. I'm at Greeley, Colorado, with my mechanic, Ruben. And that is Ruben's sign, Colorado Transmissions. You get the phone number there? That is it. Mr. Truck here, yeah, this is my summary of the install we did with Ruben, my mechanic in Greeley, Colorado, at coloradotrans.com, and I'll put the link to his website in the description. And this SMB, my model is a 75-5122. So I'm going to give you a link to SMB's test of a truck identical to mine. It shows a 50 or 43.1% uh, improvement in airflow over what the stock one is. And you can see on the website when you get there what gadgets they use, how they test it before and after. And, you know, it's, it's really interesting, but, you know, it's a much bigger tube on this SMB that goes between the turbos. So you get an increase in velocity. You know, and inside that turbo, there's those little Venturis, those, those Vortex things that Ford puts in them. They don't tell you about them, and you can't buy a part number for it, so you don't know what they are. But they're all part of the tube that goes to the turbos. Gets that air going in a circle and circulating, so you get a little more velocity, a little more air volume. That's what it's all about. And that's part of the Ford tubing. And then the SMB tubing is bigger, smoother. It's, it's a dramatically bigger. You can see it in the video where Ruben's holding them up side by side. Yes, there he is, Ruben, my mechanic. <laughs> How you doing? You'll probably remember him from all the videos we did on Dodgezilla, my second generation Ram. He did overkill on the transmission that's bulletproof. What do you think? What's today's project? Jeep Sur and F-150. Oh yeah, we're going to put an <laughs> SMB cold air intake on my 150, make it purr like a kitten, and we're going to work on the Jeep a little more. I'm, Jeep project may take years, but we're going to get something done on it today. So, we're going to work. Yes, sir. Breathe easy. Your engine and warranty are protected. This is the s and going to use this on my 3.5 EcoBoost. So what else does it say? Stop. Air filter is pre-oiled. Okay. Cool. Now I got one of these cold air intakes. And this puppy got a lot of parts. Big box. And Ruben sells s and filters. So, yeah, look at all this stuff. Man, it's cool. We're going to install it and see if I get better fuel mileage and fill the power. So, there you go. All kinds of tubes and hoses. Yeah. And that's the model for me. KF1058. Your engine and warranty are protected. Leak of stuff. Look at that filter. That's a big oval filter. Maybe it's a blue oval. No, it's a red oval. For Ford, this should be a blue oval. Holy cow, look at the snorkel on this thing. And there's some air tubes on this. Look at all these gaskets. Holy cow, look at this. Wow, it's even got its own little lip snorkel here to suck air in the front. That's interesting. Yeah, clamps galore, zip ties. Whoa. Cool. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.tv. We'll be right back. So this is the air box we're taking off. We're replacing this Y tube, but we're keeping the bottom one. We're keeping the one that goes clear to the other side. But this box will come out. Different tube. And the snorkel thing that sends the air to the filter box. That's going to be replaced. Yeah, see if it sounds different, see if it helps on fuel mileage, and we'll find out what the torque and horsepower is supposed to increase. 
Yeah, for the put on those wires so the terminals don't rust as bad. Oh, you got a little different tool than I use. Whoop! Oh, holy cow! It, it hit went, the ground! It went over there somewhere. It hit the ground! Those are a pain. I changed the oil in my Honda Pioneer the other day. I'm doing that video here shortly. It was horrible. It was unbelievably horrible. Typically, they don't bounce out like that. Yeah. I think it's just, it's, it always happens in camera, you know? <laughs> That's true. The camera kind of vexes everything. And you got another one over here. You got a bunch of them. Oh, not snake. That's the bottom piece. I thought maybe they, they had. They, they say uh, um, you gain about 20 pounds on their camera, so <laughs> I'm actually right? skinning you up live. <laughs> yeah, so. you, yeah, I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm sure. It's like noses gain weight too. I don't know what it is. I know some beautiful women having this normal nose, but their noses swell up on camera. I never have quite figured that out, but it's a phenomenon. Yeah, they were trying to sell me a new air filter there the other day when I got the oil, <laughs> the oil changed. And I go, no, nah, Ruben's got to get me a new air filter. I have some of those Honda plugs, but I don't think they're that size. It might be, you never know. That Honda, everything on it comes off of the plug like that. And you got to take the seats out and a whole bunch of crap to get to the oil filter. Oh, it's a I don't know until somebody gets hurt, huh? Yeah, until somebody gets hurt, falls off of it. Yeah. Or something. Well, you gotta have that on the trucks. You gotta have some kind of a truck ladder. I've got one of those too. It's probably got rust on it also. Kind of like my plug terminal for the trailer. Well, how, how, uh, how long have you owned that trailer? Oh, uh, five years. Yeah. Think I, I should do some maintenance on it, or what are you trying to say? Well, as much. I grease the bearings once in a while. I Off roading, you do. That's true. It goes. It goes everywhere. The rocks yeah. and all that. Look a little dirty. It looks. I thought that's what he was trying to tell me. Some butterflies stuck in their leaves. Yeah, it's good looking filter. Is that the original one? Yeah, that's the original one. This is only two years yeah. old. It's only, only got only 30, 33,000 miles on it. How often do you change your air filter? Was it a hundred thousand miles or what is it? Well, typically once a year. It depends <laughs> on the. On the... <laughs> I know. They're always trying to sell you something. This way I can just clean it out, right? The one you're selling me, or I can just, just clean it out. Yep, just cleans out. Take that hose and hose it down. So you gotta keep you gotta, that same sensor, huh? Yeah. yeah. So they give you an, an oh, extension sensor, for it. Yeah. No, cool. that's actually an intake oh, air temp. A, oh, really? Yeah. Air temperature sensor, wow. Yep. Yeah, there's a bunch of like three of those little plug things over there. I've seen. Look at that! Look at that guy go! It's car go. You go, rocket, rocket. Yeah, we only got two more to go. Two more. I need to trade you wrenches. I've got one like that. Mine's a little too wide. Yeah, they got. I got a couple of different ones for same reason. Stand, look at the air filter's only dirty on one side. This side's clean. It's kind of like a tire only flat on one side. Well, the uh, if it was dirty both sides, you'd be in trouble. Yeah, I probably would be. That means it's not filtering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy cow! Another big piece. Another big piece. My gosh. Air system on this is big, giant chunks of plastic. Let's save you the old filter for memories. Well, yeah, there we go. I might be able to sell this whole thing on eBay. You never know. Buy me a new camera. Got to keep all the old parts. Wow. 
So if you folks want to buy a stock air filter for a 3.5 EcoBoost, I'm the guy to see. Well, you got all new U clamps or U uh, whatever hose clamps, so I don't need any of that stuff. That's good. Look at that complete unit. Holy complete cow! Complete unit. And where's the snorkel at? Oh, it's on the other end. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's complete. Look at that. It's okay, folks, this will be on eBay or it'll be on Craigslist. We'll start the bidding at five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Who? 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 Now three, three, three hundred dollars. Oh goodness! Look at these nice shiny parts. Just make sure we get the rubber snubbers there. Yes, those rubber grommet things are important. Wow, right got there. nipples. Got nipples. I like that. Yep. So oh, that'd be easy enough to figure out. Um. Holy cow! Yeah, that's a big tub. Holy cow! The fortunate, big. unfortunate thing is now all these manufacturers want you to uh, print out all the. Uh, instructions they have them all on their online yeah. and uh it just saves people from uh printing out more killing more trees and all that stuff so oh paper guess, paper yeah. shortage yeah yep so i mean long story short they uh the instructions are coming into this guy probably one page huh you scan it, you use that little scan yeah, square. Use this little Stick that in the thing. Oh, cool. Wow, so I need to scan that. I'll tell Let me, me see everything. my phone does it. Wow. Part number is 75 5122 backslash 75 5122 D. Wow. You can, you can scan that little squirt thing, right? Whatever that thing's I called. I think so. I've never tried it. I'm going to ask my phone see if it's got a cure. You, yeah, you've got a scan thing, I'm sure, on your phone. I've got one, too. Finally figured out how to do that. Modern age of computers. I guess I don't have one on my phone, so let's just install I, it. I do. I have one on my phone. Yeah, that's a reader right there, your code reader. All you do is put that over there, and it's supposed to open, open. Yeah, there you go. It's ready. So no, and then it's not ready. And then you're supposed to hit everything allow, allow. You didn't get the square matching up. Oh, look at so that. So there we go. Takes you directly wow. to the website. Cool. Tells you it's for yeah, 1819, 4F150. And it says, note, this allow, this intake kit may not fit the following aftermarket parts. Body lift, lowering kit, custom hood, travel body spacer upgrade. Oh, not that. Then the nice thing is, tells you what tools needed. That's good. 10 mil, 13 mil, wrench socket, 5 16 nut driver, quarter inch nut driver, or flat blade screwdriver. Take all those little pop-in tabs. Uh, says it takes about one hour. This oh, is this is Reuben. I think it'll take an hour. You hope it's done 15 well, minutes. It just depends how many beers you have. Oh, okay. If you're doing it at is home. Is there a beer alert on it there? Yeah. Okay. No, the... Cool. And the nice thing is... Um, it tells you related products. So basically the cleaner, the oh. filter, cleaning oil kit, filter oh, wrap. good. We're kind of... You know, all these filters are replaceable. So yeah. that's the only thing that really goes... If it does go bad, it's yeah. just the, only the filter. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about SMB is they do have um, a different type of, uh, um, I guess, a compound where they wrap their filters so oh. they don't crack. Oh, yeah. Uh, they'll yeah. last you a long time. It's a good pliable. Well, it's not rubber, whatever it is. Compound of combined things. Yeah, so... Um, it's even got a dimple in the middle of it. Makes yeah, it I, I can't remember exactly that what that is. Yeah, it's a dimple. I mean, I should probably know all this stuff since I'm a dealer I would think for so. SMB. <laughs> but it, it's so hard to keep up. I mean, we're trying to keep up here with transmission stuff, with filter stuff, and just try to get uh, some of the best product out there. But yeah, I think um, I think SMB is one of the best cold air intakes yeah. you can get. Yeah, it sure I is. I like them. Uh, cool. I think for the for the money you're spending on on one of the boxes. It's probably the best one out there. Yeah. Uh, getting more power, uh, better air filtering, and the price is decent. Well, yeah, I know I used to sell my, I used to sell A&F, or AF and E, that's what they were, AFE. 
And and yeah. They, yeah, and they were good, but sometimes the installations was horrible on them. It was just like yeah. a nightmare. We want something that's easy to install. Correct. And this looks like a lot simpler. I mean, we've oh, yeah. already got most of the basics in it. Yep. It's not going to take long at all to finish this puppy up. Nope, so you get this guy in here. You really got that sitting on those nipples down there? Yeah. It's rocking and rolling like it's on a yep. dash. Okay. So well, we got those there. Yeah. Cool. That's nice, nice kind of soft rubbery, whatever it is, compound. So if you got to pull it down. Yeah, this thing's made to really suck some air. I've seen those on the 7.3, the new Ford gas engine. It's got a snorkel like that, and you can actually see the filter just looking in the snorkel. Okay. Yeah, so they got it really stacked toward the front. I suppose that would help you a little bit, get enough air in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of these... Uh... Playing lotto now? What do you do? No, all this. Uh, how could I put this... Uh... Well, I'm being politically divorced. correct. Are you being politically correct? Yes. Okay. Important stuff. Important. So make sure you go out and put your vote. <laughs> I don't care who you vote for, but just vote. <laughs> yes, that's a very important thing. Cause... It looks like they coat the inside of this box with something. Do you know what it is? Because it looks slick. Does that make the air travel, travel faster? Man, it looks cool. It's all dark black and glossy because it's brand new, but it yeah. looks cool. It's, it's the Darth Vader edition. Well, the Darth Vader airbox. I like that. That's what uh, somebody here was telling me. That uh, that's uh, what Darth Vader told Luke Skywalker is he could feel his presence through Christmas. Well, hopefully he fills up the Christmas baskets. Well, then you got your own little plugs. It comes with plugs. Yeah, it comes with plugs. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Some of these went airborne. Well, you want to seal as much as cold air as you can. Yeah. So, oh, there's that cool. guy. Let's get a rubber snubber off of here. Oh. Okay. Uh, best way to do that is get off your steel sleeve. Yeah. Let me see if my finger works today. Yeah, you got to quit smashing your finger. Yeah. You know, when you go air hammer versus finger, typically oh, finger ain't going to win. Yeah, how'd that work out for no, you? No, it didn't work out good. It didn't work out good. No. Okay. So, yeah. Ow. You got that kind of Ow, stuff. Look at the corrosion on that. You yeah, I, I got lots of corrosion. You better change that a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of red corrosion underneath. Oh, there you go. I can see the bushy. All right. So there's that guy. Oh, is there another nipple where that slides on? Or? Actually, there's a bolt that goes through here. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. I remember that uh, piece. So, and then before, I'm just getting ahead of myself. There's a bracket that's supposed to be oh. open up here. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Even some of these sensors are on the other two, so you don't have to mess with those. Man, they bury the alternator on these. Geez, little tiny baby oil filter. My goodness, look at that. The alternator is buried. Oh, yeah. The turbos are probably even buried behind that. It's actually, what really surprises me is I've replaced the the earlier EcoBoost trucks, the, I want to say 2011 to 13s, 14s. Yeah. The uh, the turbos didn't have issues, but the uh, actuators did. Oh, really? And there was a lot of... Uh, you couldn't replace just the uh, actuator itself. You had to replace the whole turbo. Wow. Well, you heard that the oil can controversy. That's why Ford went to, to the port injection along with the directing. Because they thought, you know, there's some place where you have an oil issue. Yeah. Yeah. And then it, there's, a t there's a can. They call it a drip can you put on them and all that stuff. Well, this is, you know, a lot of that, you wouldn't get lubrication in there because direct injection got pretty dry when there was nothing to mix, well, you know, to lubricate the valves. Yeah. So now, yeah, it starts off on port to get the higher RPMs, and that, you know, throws gas on those valves and yeah. gets that's supposed to clean the carbon off. So, yeah, that's, that's one of the improvements I did, and actually I did it on one model in 17 and these in 18, so. Okay, so they started in 17 and on? Yeah, 17 okay. on the 3.5, then on 18 they did it to all of those oh, okay, turbo okay, ones. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Plus, uh, you get the benefits when you uh, tune them correctly because you have all the fuel. You have a uh, oh yeah, uh, twelve injectors. Yeah, isn't that something? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? Twelve well, injectors yeah. and it's six. Yeah, well, that dual two seven. It's the fastest one out there, and it gets the best fuel mileage. But it doesn't hold enough trailers, and I got to haul trailers. I almost got one and kept my old 250, but no. Tax reasons, I ended up doing the trading and getting this rascal. Now I've got my new black hood. I just got to figure out either paint it or do something with it. Brand new. I got rid of some of the hill damage. Bought a new aluminum Ford factory hood. But I got a deal. Got a deal on it. It's from a buy shop going out of business. Got it for 300 bucks. Now I just got to find another 300 bucks so I can get it painted. Ruben, do you paint? Like a graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make some art on there. Then we're worth more. Give me some art on my black hood. That's an idea. So now you got to install a bracket, huh? Yeah, I got to get the sensor off. With your left. And up she goes. Oh, cool. And that's a, that's an intake sensor. What is it? That, this is an intake air temperature sensor. Oh, temperature, air temperature yes. sensor. And someday we're going to replace this bumper that got killed by a Volvo. Ford bumper, 960 Volvo, probably a 96, 97. Didn't even scratch the Volvo. What type of Volvo was it? 960, a big old sedan. An old one. Wow. An old man, an old Volvo, and they attacked my truck sitting still. They creamed my bumper. So was it like the Chihuahua and the and the big dog? Where they come no. up and they say they attack a Don? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this old guy, he didn't know what day it was. He had a big case of beer in the back. And he kept going into Burger King while we were waiting for the cops to come. It was exciting. And then it turned out his insurance was no good. Yeah, it was a bad day. But Ruben's gonna get me some new bumpers front and rear. I'm gonna get a bumper in the back that I can step on and climb up into the truck. Like yeah. that Chevy had. That'd be so cool. Then we'll get one of those little bull bars on the front so I can let those Volvos bounce off my next truck bumper. That's definitely true. Cool, look at all that smooth plastic. So yeah, the radius is a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, it's actually bigger. Well, everything's oval shaped. Is that on purpose? That's the the uh, filter's oval shaped. Yeah, this is all round. So, so you get more volume through that tube. Correct. Cool. Well, that's good. We want more air. Yeah. At the same time, you don't want to wake out the computers too much. I don't know if we're gonna hear any of this. There's some kind of noise in the background. You cleaning his buckets? Yeah, I think he's cleaning buckets. <laughs> We're gonna come a bucket here. <laughs> ooh, ooh, look at that. See that little a twirly thing in there? That's that one company I had that was putting those in these intakes. Oh, uh, Tornadoes? Yeah, it was kind of something like that. I can't remember the name of it, but that's what they did. And look, Ford did it. So that is cool. And I heard Ford was doing that. Same kind of thing to get that air to spin. Yeah, yeah. And that's what it is. It's on this factory one. And they've been doing, I think, on all these EcoBoost since they began. And those guys, whatever they are called around Canada, they were they had the best luck on these EcoBoost adding their to it. Actually, all their Ford engines, they actually got more power than that. It didn't really help a lot of other engines, but it did help the Fords. It's amazing, but that's what that is. It's one of those velocity changers or whatever it's called. Oh, be darn. Now I see the factory one. And you couldn't look it up on a factory parts, what that was. You had to buy the whole intake. They wouldn't actually say that little piece, and they wouldn't identify it or give you a name for it. Huh. It's like a top secret little turbo, turbulation thing. Spin that air. Wow, does this other one have it? Can you see if that one? Look, that one yeah, has that it. Yeah, that one does have wow. it too. Wow, that is so cool. So both ends coming off the turbo come into the intake with that little, whatever that thing's called. Pretty cool. Man, now I learned a lot. You get a little 
turbine thing on each end of this eco boost. You get a turbo lighter. Yeah, man, I got a turbo lighter. Well, did you know that? Because I didn't know that. I, I heard that. Those guys told me all about it. I figured they were just giving me their, their spiel. But... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they always come up with the greatest and uh ideas yeah it's always class leading but it's weird that you can't even look that part up in the ford catalog trying to find how to replace one of those you got to buy the whole air intake thing like we're replacing now but you're we're keeping the ford terminator twirl later tornado whatever it is well mo most of those were designed to speed up the airflow to the turbos and create a, a balance yeah, so that's they're increasing the pressure to the turbo. I mean, yeah. that's that's what the engineers get paid for. So well, if they get if all that works, it would speed it up. You create velocity from your turbulence. That's interesting. I'm so intrigued by the little tornado thing in there. I'm just excited. I'm excited as I'll get in. Where's that whole thing? So you gotta bolt it onto this and you bolt it on the engine somewhere? That, um, remember that harness I took off? Nice and easy? Yeah. That's where it slides into. Oh, okay. So. Now we can bolt this thing up. It's got a drain hole on the bottom. Oh, that's good. Just in case yeah. you get some, uh, yeah, and moisture, I water, right? water yeah. a squirrel. There's water <laughs> splashing on this truck all the time. You can tell that by the wiring tube we're working on too. I was just seeing if you caught that squirrel joke. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, you're still talking about moose. The moose and squirrel. You're talking about raccoon. Yeah, I can remember when Raccoon came on that cartoon. Uh... Does this go inside or outside of it? Oh, I think it might. That looks more natural. Yeah, that looks more natural. You gotta remember, if you work too hard, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Honda loves them. All my ATVs and side by sides are covered in those things. I had to buy a hundred bag of them just to change oil on this thing. Yeah, well, the thing is, my Honda. fingers, uh, you know, I have to time working on cars all the time. Your fingers give out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got to do finger exercises, right? You've done finger exercises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to do that once in the moon. <laughs> Got in a habit of indexing and everything, so yeah. O OCD, I guess. Looks like good rubber. Yeah, like I said, it's guaranteed not to crack. Well, that's good.
So I just kind of cheat and use the impact tool to just get the hoses started. Well, you got to when you're working on stuff all the time, you wear your hands out. Yeah. Got to have a lot make of electric impacts. Make sure you just, you know, snug. Yeah. It doesn't have to be ultra tight, just right. snug. Lose a hose clamp or no? Oh. Not yet. Oh, so you got the electronics all plugged in? Well, this one just got this one sensor here. Oh. So. Okay. And as far as I know, it's going to go same location, so we won't need to use an extender. Okay. The hose clamps up here. Yeah. Get that guy done, that guy done. This I gotta keep that box with me Wednesday. I'm gonna take it in the Ford to get my starter fixed so you can read that. Does not hurt your engine warranty. Yeah, make sure you call on that. <laughs> well, I'll tell them all about the Magnuson Moss Consumer Warranty Act of 1975. Which gives you the right to improve your vehicle and if anything you do changes that then they have to prove it in writing they can't just magically you know in the old days they just took the magic wand the valve forth do no longer have a factory warranty and that turned out to be illegal huh it's called the magnuson moss consumer warranty act of 1975. a couple senators out of oklahoma i guess oklahoma had a thing for high performance stuff. well they did because i've been to oklahoma on that six liter diesel, they've got it in their shop in every state I went in. And in Oklahoma, they actually print that Magnuson Moss Warranty Act right on the wall. So you know your rights. Oh, wow, it goes way in there, huh? Oh, yeah. Is that hard to get that air filter in past all that? Well, of course, uh, you got to go in to get this thing to go into the tube. Yeah. And this is where it gets tricky here because you have to you know, get one side in. Make sure you you got a big one down there dude. yeah but then you don't have no give so yeah, yeah. sometimes roll one in that way from that used to work with that big of a tool Cool, so I give that seal too. Yeah, I was wondering about that. It looked loose and now it's all sealed up. So, so sometimes, seal. yeah, sometimes, sometimes, it's kind of waves in there, won't go any further in, or to the air bottle. Well, there we go. You have to play around with it a little bit. Yeah. To get everything to line up. Steam drives. Steam drives. When I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of the Karate Kid. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Watch Kung Fu and. What's the other guy, famous guy that died? Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. And... Lee. I like to watch Bruce Lee. Enter the Dragon. Oh yeah. And Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris is in all that stuff too. And now they got they have three hot chicks back there, Rock Karate Girls too, but I think I've seen two or three films of theirs and I cannot remember their names. There's a new Gina now, she's in the new Star Wars episode. She's a big fighter. I watched all of her movies. Gina's her first name, I can't remember her second name. I probably made her and call her Sir. Kick your butt, Ruben. Oh yeah, I bet.
Oh, here comes the noise. I should have kept him talking longer. You already tied those bottom ones up. I didn't even see you do it so fast. Bunch of air tubes going down there. Oh, um. Bring it to you as time to change oil off the air filter. And you know, here's all your snazzy wrenches. And Luckily, if I can't do manual labor, it's against my contract. Yeah, I think you said that earlier today. <laughs> uh, I think you said uh, manual labor and uh, manual. getting dirty. Yes, yes, manual labor. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting dirty too, but I have to change clothes this week. B. What's the S and B stand for? Sisters and brothers? No, super badass. Super badass. <laughs> See, Ford uses those BO speakers. I don't know if that means body odor speakers or what that means, but it's body BO. odor. Yeah, it's BO speaker. <laughs> they don't like it when I say that. But who would call a company BO? That's what its name of it is. Oh, I mean, I don't mean mean to uh, this on the. I mean, is it is Ario Speedwagon, but. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I mean, some of the names don't make sense, but it makes sense. Does it make uh, sense? Well, it's their names. It's their, actually their initials, and I cannot pronounce their German initials or whatever they are. And they're fine speakers. Nothing wrong with them. It's just kind of a strange name. Oh, well. There you go. Okay, next to cardboard in there. And there's a look at the tubes that goes to that end. They like go in circles and whoop around and up all over the place. Mm -hmm. That side's hard to work on. You haven't got my hitch, put my, my wiring hooked up. What's the deal working on this Mazda? What is that? I'm off the clock. Oh, you're off the clock. Me too. <laughs> the Ruben works all the time. He's a workaholic. Yeah, I figured you need an extension. That's, that's quite the deal. Oh, that's what all that Velcro or all those straps are for, whatever that yeah, stuff is. Yeah, I guess we need to do something. They give you plenty of those straps. Seems like you already, you already have one missing there. Yeah, but then yeah. they give you a bunch of them. Might end up needing a few of those. So. You get a bra for the nose and a mask. Many of you are going to want to start wondering why I have gloves on now. Why oh. do I have gloves in the video? Oh, you're scared of glass or you don't want to fracture no. it? Hurt. Oh, I see. Fingerprints. Correct. So nobody knew you were the one working on my truck. Well, the thing is... Oh, I better take these. I might want to keep them. Yeah, keep those. I usually let the uh, customers uh, install their own 
Stickers, huh? <laughs> yeah, decals. <laughs> well, that's good. I need to install my own decals. Yeah, I was wondering why you had gloves on. Now I know. So that's cool. So now I've got a window to the world. I can tell how clean my filter is. That's awesome. There they go again with the hunky so, car. Yes. The it's horn, weird. The horn blows. You know how that story goes. Well, we usually never have that much action here. And it seems like as soon as you start filming something, yeah, everybody and their grandma comes out. It does. It does. They all want to meet Ruben, the mechanic. Got a window to my world. I spent a lot of time packaging all this stuff. Yeah. One of these days, I'll go to the SMB factory and see how all this stuff gets. Well, that would be a good one. Take me with you. I'll film it all. Does that stay on there, or is that comes out? Look at that. Oh, everything has a place. Boy, they really get detailed on that SMB oh, yeah. thing. Well, that means they're they're proud of this stuff. So yeah, when people they, are they proud are. of doing uh, detail to their product, that means only one thing: you're getting a good product from. Cool. Company. Yeah, it's nice to see them care. It's especially for, man, we go, for the best bang for your buck. So oh, yeah, oh, it's they even got a gasket on that. That's too cool. I've got to redo my door gaskets. I think I put one on, it was a little too cold, and they're pulling loose. One side's working great, one side's not. Well, so this looks really nice. You could you could always put the person you don't like on that one where it doesn't seal right. <laughs> Have that guy open the door. It might, but if it starts banging on my door frame, I might get loose some paint. I don't want to buy more parts for this thing. Start banging up my nice paint jar. Yeah, I like those. They, you know, they really help you from chips on your edge of your door. But you got to do it just the right temperature outside, or it just does not work. But I will. I'll fix that. As you'll see, this one here is one that's wrinkling up. You can see at the bottom it's bulging out, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. The other side's perfect. So I guess I'll buy another box of them. For the passenger side. Are those uh, rubber? Yeah, rubber edge. I always put them on there. I like them to keep them from banging at Walmart. But one side must have been just a little too cold when I installed them, and they never did quite go through all the bins because you know there's a lot of curvature on these doors these days. I gotcha. So. Wow, look at that. You're really gaining ground here. That's yeah. cool. Why not use gonna match those up if you figured it out? Well, sometimes. You're even doing it with gloves on. You're just you're just handy. Yeah. Having gloves on is like eating a lollipop with a wrapper on it. <laughs> it doesn't get you through so much. <laughs> As long as I'm picking my nose or something. No, I already got those shots. Yeah, <laughs> I left out the ones where I'm eating a donut. I'm not supposed to eat those things. My doctor would not be happy. Doctors have something against donuts and ice cream. And... Oops. Set upside down. And... Well, then the s &B is facing the windshield, I guess. Sometimes they trip me out because I just, uh... <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Now, I did a short-term MPG loop, and that doesn't tell you a whole lot because it was a dramatic improvement, and I don't believe that on short-term loops. So we're going to do a longer-term test. You know, I'm, I drive 50 miles to the town, my old town. That's a 100-mile loop I do quite often, and that includes city, highway, interstate, everything you can imagine. And I know what I'm getting now, so I'm going to see if it's an improvement, and I'll report that later on in a video. But, you know, and, and I can tell in the acceleration, these EcoBoosts are not dogs. They fly. You put it in sport mode, you're really flying. And this in here is a smoother acceleration. You know, you don't feel any turbo lag. And that's all about that airflow into the engine, into those turbos. Both of them. So that's pretty cool. And so uh, go ahead and check out the test from S&B and get that. It shows that 43.1% airflow improvement over the stock intake. And that's one of the reasons you do all this. So you get a little better performance. And these are actually very reasonably priced. And you can call Ruben or go to his website and ask him what you know, can buy one for your truck for. Uh, you know, that's coloradotrans.com. And I'll, that's all going to be in the description. But it was, a fun, it was a fun watching Ruben do all that. He's such a good mechanic. He's very precise. He doesn't leave anything out. You know, I've taken stuff to people before. We had to go and finish the job or finish tightening things up or finish this or finish that. Not with Ruben. Ruben's very precise and he's meticulous. Make sure it all gets done right, and then you're done. So he's the one also did my transmission on Dodzilla, my uh, 94 Ram 1500 with the lift kit and all that. We did. He totally rebuilt that transmission. That's why we call it the overkill transmission because it's dramatically better than what was in the the Dodge to begin with. So he's he's great for that, and he specializes in transmission. I talked him into doing some things for me, uh, and we'll show what he's done, help me do on the Jeep. And that will be coming up in another video. We're going to keep doing these videos. But, yeah, we'll see what that Venturi and the Vortex spinning of that one on the Ford tubing and the bigger airflow from the bigger tubes from S&B. And the smoother, you know, it's all smooth inside. I don't know what they've coated it with, but it looks like glass. All that's a pretty big improvement. And that gives you more power and should give you more fuel mileage. If you enjoyed this install video, it really shows you exactly what it takes. And uh, Ruben is very good at what he does. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, go ahead and share the video and hit like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff so we can stay in business and keep bringing you these more of these install videos. We're doing a lot this winter because, you know, the trucks are slowing down. We've got a GMC coming next week. Kelsey will be helping with that. She'll be driving. So we're going to get back in the groove, get more trucks. We've got about three more trucks scheduled. We haven't had anything since June. So we've been doing a lot of uh, aftermarket, and I like that. And I wish it was easier to do trailers and do more trailer reviews. But you know, trying to get a new truck to do the you do trailer review is what I'm, my point is. So please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please share. Please like it. And we'll stay in business and keep bringing you videos. Thanks. We'll see you next time. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop-Up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer and everybody uses a shore bed that's the most proper truck there is a crew cab shore bed so protect that window